Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, I'm gonna be starting off today's great, uh, daily creative challenge using the smudge tool here in a minute. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. This will be good. Look, I'm wearing a, a different shirt other than black. So yeah, we'll get started here in about a minute and 20 seconds. And uh, we're gonna manipulate uh, a graphic using the smudge tool. And uh, we're gonna create some type with it as well. So that's the plan. And uh, yeah, if you're joining me elsewhere, uh, hop over to, oh, I see a uh, Rosbe. Hop over to behance.net forward slash Adobe Live would be awesome. So yeah, good to have you here. Ah, hopefully you're doing great. Hello, Beverly. Awesome. This is going to be fun. So uh, I will get this started in a moment. Thanks so much. Switch screens. I'll be back in a second. What's up, everyone? Good to see ya. Paul here. Just putting some lotion on my face. And uh, it's good to have you here. So I smell like flowers and really create some cool things. I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, and if you don't know about this feature, um, you will soon. So that is good. Uh, let's just revert this file. And let's get this party started. All right? So you can see, again, we're going to head over into our journey through Photoshop. And in fact, we are gonna head up to, zoop, right over there. We're gonna go to, above me, the smudge bog. We're gonna go to Dreamland, shall we? We're gonna go to Dreamland and uh, it's gonna be good. So let's go ahead and dive into this right now. No more messing around, right? Here we are. Uh, thanks for joining me, Tuisef, uh, Carol, Ash. So right here, smudge, smudge text or whatever, but basically blending content in a cool way. Um, we're gonna create some custom smudge text using brush, right? And we'll open that up in Photoshop. Here we are. Good morning. Uh, can you download a copy of the map? I guess if you send me a message via social media, then uh, yeah, I'd be buffering. kind of all over the map right now, just so you know. But yes, send me, feel free to send me a message via social media. And uh, all right, let's get this party started. So this is what you get in all those off, right? I just put a nice background back there. And then we have these lovely colors, okay? So sorry I'm breaking up really bad. I apologize. I can tell the connection is like all over the map. All right, so we have this colorful background image. It's this colors smart object, okay? And that was actually made, I think, in Illustrator. Let's just double click on it. That, uh, that's actually made in Illustrator. Okay, so we're ju we just have this colorful background. I'm gonna select layer one, and on layer one, this is where we're gonna do all of our painting. Okay. Sorry, I could tell that YouTube is buffering a lot. That's why it's a little distracting. Sorry about that. Man, right over here. This little finger, right? It's hidden behind the blur and sharpen. We're gonna go down to smudge. Okay, so that's what we're gonna select. We're gonna select the smudge tool. We're gonna have exciting graphics on the background. And right up here at the top, 
Uh, I have my, I have a brush selected, okay. Uh, hardness is all the way up, about 25 pixels. And the strength is about 75%, okay. And right here, I'm gonna sample all layers, okay. With that done, actually I'll make the brush a little bit larger, if I dare, like so. We can start to smudge content like that, right? So that's what the smudge brush does. Undo that, I'll make it a little larger, right? Get these huge fun swooshes, right? I can add a new layer and have another swoosh on this new layer as well. I could take that, I could flip it, right? So we get these fun shapes all by sampling all layers and having the strength set to about 75. Okay, looks like everything is fine now, right? So that's the goal, right? Having some fun kind of smudging this content together. Uh, if you play with the uh, strength and the, honestly, the hardness should be all the way up. Uh, but if you play with the strength, watch what happens if I take the strength up to 100%. It's gonna take those first initial pixels. It's gonna be like a very clean look, okay? So that's what happens when you have the strength set to 100 like that, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm just having and creating some fun layers, like so, for our dream land. Uh, again, if you take it down, it's the, uh, if you're gonna take the strength down, it's gonna get a little bit smudgy and a little bit blended, right? Okay, so that's pretty cool. I actually like these ones that are um, at, set to 100%. I like those. But there's more we can do as well. So I'll turn those off. I'll turn on this text. I have this text, Dreamland. I know it's hard to see, okay? But what if we wanted to uh, sort of stroke this text with this smudge brush? So that's our goal. Take the smudge tool, is what it is. It's actually a tool, it's not even a brush. Uh, and then um, use it to outline the text, right? Um, Sean, you can't use it, you can't adjust, adjust the smoothing to this to the smudge brush, uh, so that's the thing. So, <clears throat> okay, so I'll take this first text, dream. If you take this text, I'm gonna hold down the command key. If you hold down the command or control key on a PC and you click, it will turn that into a selection, okay? Now we'll go up to our paths. Come on, paths. There you are, paths. There's, I've already given you some paths right in here, by the way, but we're gonna make a new path, right? Right down here. We're gonna click right here, boom. Here's our new path. It's called uh, path one, we'll call it dream. So I'm making new version. Oh yeah, actually I gotta call it dream two because I already gave you these in case you needed them. Right, so I just created a selection, turned that selection into a path by clicking right down here. Okay, I'll do that again really fast. Let's delete that. Uh, command clicking on the layer. It selects that content. Going over here to this little button right here and make it a work path. Boom, there's my work path. From there I happen to name it dream path, whatever you want. Okay, so that's how that's done. Now that it's a path, we can actually stroke that path with a brush. So go right up here. Actually, no, I take that back. Wait a minute. This is what I need to do. This is this is going to happen to you as well. You're going to still be on that text layer and you're not going to have the option to select the stroke path. So you need to say, hey, you know what? Now that that's set up, I don't need that anymore. I need a new layer. And this is gonna be my dream layer. Now with that path selected, going right over here. So these are the three things you need. Path is selected, uh, new blank layer is selected, clicking right here, stroke path. All right. So yeah, it's technically no longer text. Ah. 
Hello. Stroke path. But before I do that, by the way, I need to actually get this smudge brush down in size. So I want it to stroke this text. It's gonna stroke that path. I actually kind of want it to be about this size, like that. Okay, so about half the, half the size or maybe the full size of the text, but kind of around there. I'm basically taking the brush down to about 25, 25 pixels. Okay, with that being said, I'll go to stroke path, right? So I'll select smudge. Before I do that though as well, I gotta turn on that background because sample from that background, so turn everything off. Basically, we're doing what we did before. We're gonna stroke a path with this text, stroking that path with the smudge tool, simulate pressure, why not? Okay, and then we can go ahead and hide that. There we have our dream text, okay? I'm actually gonna change this. I encourage you to, now that you have it set up, try strength of 75%, try a new layer right, just going to that path, uh, stroking that path, oh, sorry, forgot to turn on the background, stroking that path with the smudge tool, click OK, there we go, I actually like it better this way, right, so this is the look that we're going for, by the way, uh, I don't want you to think that I thought of this, uh, I want to do a shout out to uh, Luke Choice. So Luke Choice is Instagram. Uh, known as Velvet Spectrum. So he's the one that showed me this like years ago. All right. He does all this amazing work, right? So that's what we're going for, is some of this amazing smudge work that he does, right? He also uses a lot of 3D, okay? But he's the one that kind of showed me this years ago. So this is pretty cool. That's why I have two words, by the way, is just to give you some practice. We can take this second word right here. By the way, pick any text that you want. You don't have to go with this straight, um, whatever, uh, Adobe Clean is all I'm using. So I didn't even get fancy with it. So right in here, Command Click creates that selection going to your paths panel, turning it into a path, and now we have the land path, like so, there it is. New layer, turning off everything, turning on the sample layers that I wanna sample from, then we'll go out here to stroke that path with the smudge tool. Boom, done. And that is today's tutorial, right? Hello, everyone. Man, there's been a lot of buffering on YouTube. Don't know why, but... I am glad you're with me, and the time is all over the map. All right, cool, cool, cool. This looks pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I also given given you some other paths like these clouds as well. So you have these clouds up at the top, or excuse me, at the bottom. Oh, there they are. There's some clouds, right? That's another thing that you can go ahead and stroke, right? Turning on a layer, sampling, stroking with the smudge tool. There we have it, just like that. Okay, fun stuff, dream land. Even for this one, this happens to be my uh, clouds. I'll name these layers. I could take these clouds and I could smudge them even more as well. So uh, selecting the smudge tool, coming down here. I could sample from all layers but I'm actually gonna turn on, this is the original vector smart object. I'll have these, the smudge layer right here, and then I'll just kind of jump in and kind of pull some of those pieces of that smudge layer down like so, kind of like that, okay? Yes, you are right, it is a little psychedelic, oh yes. 
right? So again, just have fun. Like whatever you create, just turn it into a selection. With that selection, you then turn it into a path, bam. And then from that path on a new layer, bop. Making sure the right backgrounds are added, but from that path, we can stroke it with any one of these tools. So I've only done the beginning of it for you. Smudge, okay. Oh, that one was big time. Right? The brush was actually is actually a different size in here. So let's say for instance, I use the smudge tool. Um, I want to add more white to it. Well, if you have white as your foreground color, you can go right up here, turn on finger painting. So that'll keep more white when you paint. Okay, so let's actually take down this uh, strength a little bit. But that's what it does. It's like you actually go back and you're actually sampling that white and pulling that into your smudge brush. Don't like these clouds as much, by the way. Let's hide that. Turn off finger painting. I like the big swooshy ones, like so. Cool. Dreamland. Does that make sense, Sam? So you could also use the mixer brush as well. Mixer brush is a great uh, tool to use. I'm not big into the mixer brush, to be honest with you, because I think people, you know, use the mixer brush on photos and they act like they're painting and you're not really painting. You're just smudging a photo, <laughs> right? And that's all we're doing is we're smudging graphics. We're really hardly even painting. We're just smudging graphics. So create something cool like this um, or something cooler, actually. Uh, I've given you all these various layers uh, that you can work with, right? And also, by the way, let's put this back over here. Think about using some of the graphics that are available to you uh, in Photoshop. Photoshop CC, go down to shapes if you have the latest version. Here's all these wonderful shapes that you can use, right? So look at all these cool shapes, right? I actually pulled them all out and I put them in one big folder, right? Because it was just easier for me to just scroll down and find a heart, for instance, right? So that's all I'm gonna do, add a new layer. Let's take this, bring that in, bring in that heart, for instance. We can have this heart in the background and we can start to use this. Steamboat Springs, snowy storm clouds. <laughs> Is that where you live? Cause I'm down in Denver, but you probably heard me say that before. So let's turn off these other layers, right? We could work with this heart, which will be pretty cool. For this heart, again, command click. Just make it a work path. I usually just save them, by the way. You don't have to. Um, and then from there, you ready for this? I want to keep the shape of this heart. You ready for this? On a new layer. I'm going to turn, uh, add a mask to it right down here. So I have a blank layer that just has that heart as a layer mask. So now I can go to that layer itself. And actually, you know what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and use the smudge brush, smudge tool, excuse me, and just kind of paint. It's going to be like I'm painting inside, by the way. Take this down a little bit more like that. Okay, just kind of painting inside of this heart like that. That's all I'm doing. I wish there was smoothing, by the way. That would be nice. There's my heart. Again, I didn't need to make it a path because I decided not to stroke the path with anything. There we have it. Turn on these layers, dream land. And 
and the bottom clouds like so. And then we also have this lovely heart that we can work with. Cool. Does that make sense, everybody? This doesn't have to be hard. This is your daily creative challenge. I actually almost think it looks better without using the smudge tool, at least for the heart. Okay. And these clouds look a little bit like storm clouds. So let's just move those up. Results may vary. None of these are going to be perfect, right? I actually encourage you to try different fonts as well. So what actually would be good is if, I, I think first off, sans serif fonts are going to work better. But let's turn off those two layers. Turn on this. Like so. Here, in this case, check this out. I use just a, um, like a handwritten font, okay? So that's the one I'm using, kind of these ridiculous shapes. And for this one, we'll go down. We will change our brush size. That's a key thing to remember. Change this to about 80. And for this dreamland path, let's go ahead and stroke that path with the smudge tool. It's doing all the work for you. Yasunari, I'm glad you like it. Cheers, folks. Just like that. Doesn't have to be hard. I'm gonna be wrapping up here in a couple minutes, but there it is, right? Pretty, pretty darn cool if you ask me, right? From there, I can always fill in the inside if I want to, um, or play with this any way I want. Usually to add depth. So once you have these, by the way, since I still have a little bit more time, this is great. This is what I would do. We wanna give this more depth right? Because it kind of looks like it's trying to be 3D. So what we can do is we can go to a new layer. And I'm just going to focus on this word dream. And for this layer, I'm going to turn it into a clipping mask. So right click and create clipping mask. Okay. So now whatever I paint, I'll paint with the brush soft round in black, right? I'm just gonna be painting inside. So I can come in and kind of paint like so. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change the color to a slight purple, right? So we just wanna give this, it's not gonna be pure black, but I'm gonna start just add, adding some shape to it like so, like that, giving it a little bit of depth. And by the way, I'm just using a mouse. I don't even have any fancy equipment here. <laughs> And add it mostly on the bottom like that. You could spend more time on it if you want. Let's add some highlights as well. I'll do the same thing, a layer. And this will be highlights and shadows. The cool thing is when I take these shadows and I change it to something like overlay, I change that to overlay or soft light and it gives it just like a little bit more depth. Right, so before and after. Just get that a little bit of depth. So play with that all you want. There's other modes as well. You can also just adjust the transparency, but that's what I'll do. I'll do overlay. I'll come in with the highlights as well. Uh, we'll take the flow down. The flow is like really high. I'm gonna take it down to about 30 for adding the highlights. Paint these lovely highlights on top. Not even being that accurate. Right, we paint them on, we'll change this to overlay as well. So it just kind of adds those nice highlights, what I'm looking for in this case. Cool. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm down to my last couple minutes, and that's what I would do with this text, by the way. Boom. Oops, sorry. New layer. Bam. Clipping mask. B for brush. Paint it in and uh, make that text look 
amazing and 3D and all that good stuff. Hit the X key to flip colors, painting like so. Make sure this is set to overlay like that. And I can start to paint in these shadows like that. Cool. So that is your magical dreamland text because that's where we're at on the map for our journey through Photoshop. Cool. Once you have that done, feel free to, you know, add some more to the background if you want to. Get crazy with it. I kind of like that. Maybe that's what I'll do. Throw my heart in there. My heart's in it. Guys, my heart is in it. And then export this as a JPEG. And by the way, someday I'll show you how to make this grid. This grid is really fun to make in Illustrator, right? How to randomize a bunch of colors, right? And then make sure you upload to Discord. Cool. Hopefully that makes sense, everybody. Thank you, Sean and Darius and everyone. Good to have you here. Photoshop, Discord, current challenge, posting. Oh, who's who's messing with me? Stop messing with me, everybody. What are you doing? You're ridiculous. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> okay, so drop it right in here. Current challenge, the current go to dreamland. There it is. Feel free to add comments as well. And uh, yeah, that'd be cool. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, that map reminds you of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's where we are. We just, we're right here. If we were Lord of the Rings, we'd be in this, this dreamland because that's how you get to it. You have to climb up the mountains and dreamlands in the clouds, but you got to go through the smudge bog, right? Okay, so very nerdy, very Lord of the Rings. Not, that's not really even me, by the way. I love Lord of the Rings, by the way. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you guys next time. And stick around for uh, 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 up. There we are, updating the schedule slightly. Yes, Sean Riken is up next. So thanks so much, everyone. We will uh, see you next time and get your designs posted. I'd love to see them. Thank you.